have detected an anomaly. Probe away. Scans have found something.
city. Probe away. Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito's style. Let's push ahead. Sounds like he hasn't changed. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. 
The sun's only got mean after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you found the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Gotta have terrorists, I said. 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We better get moving. They're at the southern axis. All squads mess at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Got nearsighted, old friend. Burn, you son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. something up. I want to know about it first. Vito was confident. Had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. You don't make a move unless I know about it first. This is my mission. Remember that. I came here to kill Vito Santiago. If you want my help on your mission, you better make damn sure that man dies today. You want him dead, then he dies. I don't care what else happens. As long as Vito swallows a bullet. Get him! Oh. My gun! This will put him down! watching those people burn to death? I'm not sticking around and watch. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Let's get moving before Vito gets away. Glad you see it my way. No! No! No!
somebody behind these men and come fight me. I've got no shield.
20 years ago. Look at you. I did you a favor. Zaid, please. I'm gonna die here, man. Do something. Try, you son of a bitch. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Morden requests to see you. Shepard, important news. Know you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You know about the genophage? Only about one Krogan pregnancy in a thousand leads to a live birth, thanks to a Solarian virus. Mm, right. Virus released a thousand years ago controlled Krogan population ever since. All public knowledge, but... I know more. Recent generations of Krogan started adapting. Genophage losing effectiveness. Last time the Krogan population exploded, they tried to take over the galaxy. I doubt they've gotten nicer. Exactly. Social extrapolation suggested war as only possible outcome of Krogan population increase. Personally, led a team created new version of Genophage, released it onto Chanka, other colonies, re-stabilized Krogan population. Nice job. I can see why Cerberus brought you on board. Very difficult, yes. Complex work to stabilize population. Mistake could have wiped out species. Glad to see you understand. Had to be done. The Krogan would be a danger to the whole galaxy if the genophage was cured. Exactly. Best solution for everyone, even Krogan. Can discuss more later. More pressing issue now. Blood Pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. We've got to focus on the Collectors, Morton. Understood. We'll gather intel. Maybe have time later. If plans change, suggest starting with Clan Erdnot. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Commander, I think you'll want to talk to Garrus. Access to life support is restricted. Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my toilet. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember the fight on Omega. I don't think anyone forgets fighting three separate Merc gangs simultaneously. You know I didn't work alone. I had a team of 11 good men. They all died that day, before you arrived. All but one. A Turian named Sedona survived. He betrayed us, Shepard. He's the reason my men are dead. You sure it was him? 
positive. He disappeared just before the attack, but I found him, or at least a way to get to him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sedonis was seen with him. Garrus, we've got bigger things to worry about than personal problems. I understand. I'll do my best to focus on the job at hand in the meantime. I'll stay in touch with my contact at Zakara Ward near the Neon Markets, just in case we find some spare time. Time to check in since we launched. Glad to be on board. And I have to apologize, I'm a little unfocused due to a personal matter, but I won't let it affect my duties. If it affects my crew, it's my business. Sir, I don't want to distract from our mission, especially if it turns out to be nothing. But. Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. It's only a waste of time if you jerk me around. What is it? My father was first officer on a ship that went missing ten years ago. I had not talked to him for three years prior. His ship, the Hugo Gernsback, sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and a request for rescue. Just like that, out of the black. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck, see if it's legit. If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Forward the coordinates to Joker, but a ten-year-old wreck isn't really an emergency. Of course. I'm having trouble taking it seriously myself. But still, if we get a break, I'd like to close off any doubt. Jack would like to talk with you, Commander. Tight little group you got here, and a pretty nice ship. You'd be rich if you took to piracy, but you wouldn't. I can't figure you, Shepard. Doesn't matter. I've got to talk to you about something. I'm listening. I got thoughts like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? We've got work to do. Get to the point. I work for you, and you work for Cerberus. They're in my face all the time. This is gonna make me crazy. Crazier. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some super biotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. Sounds like they've done a serious 180 since those days. I'm not trying to convince you of something, Shepard. I don't care what they're doing now. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragya, where they tortured and drugged me. 
I want to go to the center of the place myself. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Jack, you can't hang on to this. It's messing you up. Yeah, great advice, but I've been messed up for years. No thanks to them. The only way I put that place behind me is to watch it burn. Our mission is the priority. If we have time, we'll go there. Don't wait too long. I need to do this soon. I need it. that of the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicon. A Turian frigate. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever gun we could bring. Shepard, I've got a problem and I may need your help. But I need to ask you something first. I need to know if I can trust you. Some of this might involve fleet security. Cerberus cannot be involved. You have my word. If necessary, I'll contact the elusive man to make sure he stays out. Don't bother, he just lied to you. Hearing it from you is enough. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing, with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an Admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. I know this is important to you, Tally, but stopping the Collectors has to come first. I understand. We're probably not coming back from this mission anyway, right? I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location, just in case you change it. In case we have time. 